<laughs> All right, so the way we can set up, uh, most people have probably got access to the power bags and they're a good thing. A lot of people are, are really unsure exactly what's to be done with them and how to work them maybe at their best. Um, you can do so many things. They're just a, basically, they're a gym and a bag. Um, you can do lots of exercises with them, just pull ups like that. Basically, you're just trying to get guys um, the strength up while they're tired, you know, and set them up at the end of the hurdles. You can get guys in groups just coming through the hurdles, you can have them a little closer, set up little, uh, like a little circuit class for them, you know. So you've got five or six hurdles, just jumping over, jumping over onto the power bag, pull ups like that, go through maybe some more hurdles set up on the other side. It's just making the body work. Once again, I just found that um, a lot of the guys that we're working with, they could run. I could set up shuttles, they could run all day. That's comfortable for them, you know? And uh, they'll get tired, but they're not necessarily massively tired. So what I'm saying is, let's load them up, make different muscle groups work, take it down, back's working. Uh, you could pick these up, you could do clean and press, so it's up to there, down to there, push it up, you could do those sorts of things, okay? sets of five, they come onto the power bag, they do five, they can take it up, sit it on their back, five deep squats, take it up, so you're loading up, you'll find that if they did a set of shuttles after doing a series of squats, their legs just cave in because they're just not used to that sort of heavy load, um, and if you imagine going into a game now, guys are coming in to hit you, and you're not stronger, you're poor in your legs, you've got to absorb that hit, there's nothing worse, Benny, where are you mate? So, no, come on over here, I might have to flush you. Come on. No, I'm only joking. So, if Benny and I are running along at a game and Benny's coming to hit me, just. just don't... <laughs> so, as we're going into a game scenario, just come along as if we're going, he's going to check me. What happens if we tend to run off and then we come back into the game? Okay? Because we're a little weak here, we can't absorb that. We can't absorb that strength in here. So, what I'm saying is coming again Benny what this is what I would like to happen take the head boom good and I just keep going I ride that head I absorb it through here and ultimately you want to sort of come in and he goes out the other way because he's sort of run into a brick wall okay and that's a, a typical scenario would be a big guy little guy the guy comes in to flush the big guy and the little guy invariably gets bounced off huh? it's just because of mass difference but if you're good and strong in the core you can see it coming you can absorb a lot more so this is why I want to sort of incorporate these exercises it's all based around here and a lot stronger if we've got stronger legs from from our knees to our shoulder if we're a lot stronger here we'll absorb a lot more okay so with our power bags you can just set them up once again for rehab or anything like that there but what we're going to do with the guys i'm just going to set up i'm going to get half of you guys working on these ladders just here okay so Bound, 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 bound. You're going to come to this power bag. First one you're going to do is just a bend up a row. So the shape of these is you'll see guys like this. Can anybody tell me what's wrong with my technique? My back's going to go just like you. Put your back out, picking up a handkerchief, all right? So get the legs out, drop the knees. Keep, always keep the chin up. You look at the floor, everything goes in. So keep it there and just shoulders back, elbows back. Don't see the bag and think I have to lift it, otherwise you end up doing that. Okay, I want you there. Back. back. So it's more of that exercise. Get it out of the bag. It's a technique, okay? So it's use five of those. Hang on. Okay. Come to this one. Is this a heavy one? No. Take it up onto the back. Hold it there. And I want you right down. Up. Five of those. Okay, drop it off. And then we're just going to have... I'll get this cone over here. And then I just want you to sprint out to this cone, okay? And where the next guy's working, I just want you to do five shuttles. And I want you to tell me how you feel after. Well, not me. Tell everybody how you feel after. Okay? So go for it. Jump, 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 jump. Five. Shoulders back. Shoulders back. Shoulders back. Elbows intact. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Good. There we go. Chuck it over the head. Right, right down. Now see when he's doing his squats, keep going. His toes are out, look at his knees, they're going the same way. Keep your knees, turn your toes in, 
Now squat, sit back. Good luck. Whatever angle your toes are going, your knees are going to follow it. Keep going, okay? How many is that? Five. Go for it, sprint, go fast you can. Good, back to here, go. Good, back again, keep going. And again, keep going, you got two times there and back. Good, and back again, and back again. Good, and relax. How do you feel, kid? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Benny, hang on, where's Benny? <laughs> Okay, so let's go, get our technique, good. Feet out, sing his back, take your feet a little wider, get a strong base, chin up, drop your ass to the floor, chin up, that's it. TJ's going up and down, stay still. Shoulders back, yes, there you go. Pull, pull right up here, nip my fingers, there you go. Feel the difference in here now? Yeah. Good, so now we're working all that upper body, good, chuck it down. Get that over, up over the head, right over, good, that's it. Everybody just naturally goes to there with their toes. Square your toes. Now sit back. As it's doing squats, you want to be sitting back into a chair. Push your bum back as if you're trying to sit down. Good. Keep going. 100 to go. Somebody joking. <laughs> Keep going. Now fast. Come on. Touch it around here. Touch it. Touch it. Good. Touch your cone. Touch your cone. And back again. Good. Touch your cone. Good. Good. Keep going. Legs getting heavy? Yeah. What's my name? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> there and back again. There and back again. Come back, come back, come back, come back. And relax, relax. How do you feel? Legs Where do you tired. Legs are tired. Bingo. Yeah. You, you look like the sort of guy who could run all day though, yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> good man, good man. Okay, so it's just a wee illustration there. Yeah. Just, it's just an illustration. It's exactly what I'm saying. As soon as we put a bit of load into guys, that's when they start to fatigue out. So what you can be doing now is string it all together. You've gone from your ladders to the bulwark throwing it, we're getting this core, everything's we're heated up, we're good all over. Come into this progressive, progressive. In and in. And it's not about this is our fitness session. Okay? It's our fitness session. It's not necessarily bolted onto the front or anything. This could be done at the end of all your ball work, all your games, everything. Come in here and start doing this here. And the shoot you have you have enough setup. You, ideally you don't want anybody standing around for longer than 30 seconds. Okay? No longer than 30 seconds. So at the minute we've got guys but it's just a demo so but you want to be into that so you can build it up from there come over to here and then finish with the other ones get all the load work done all that bounding springing all <coughs> sorts of things you know there's lots of the saqs you just up speed 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 one leg jog it out come to the other side just use that never look at the floor so it's up use those arms bang bang okay speed if you go on to any of the sites on tv uh, on the on the internet and look at sprinters and stuff and look at all the speed and agility work that they do you can just log into them and have a good look it'll give you a good idea it's just their technique and how they go it okay all right so once again you've just built it up then we go into the hard out running phases of things and just getting guys lost in the chops up. and this is the point of the session where you see what the team's made of by their mental ability now their mental strength okay